Hello, dear brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining Mother and Refuge of the End Times. We would like to share with you an article written for the Spanish website Forums of the Virgin Mary. An illiterate peasant, a Serbian Catholic, had prophecies about our time. The prophecies about the estrangement from God, the pride of men, their itinerary towards lack of love, and a third world conflagration are many, some downright rude and others that might be plausible at first glance. But there is no better predictor of the quality of a prophecy than seeing how the prophecies the seer made before were fulfilled. And here we bring the prophecies almost unknown in this part of the world of Mitar Tarabek, who lived in the 19th century in Serbia, a Catholic illiterate whose prophecies about the First and Second World Wars were forcefully fulfilled, and whose prophecies about the course that human beings have taken in recent decades as well. Here we will talk about the prophecies about the future of Mitar Tarabek, those that were fulfilled, those that are being fulfilled, and those that are still in the future. There are so many people who have had visions about future events in the last two centuries. And although Acts of the Apostles chapter 2 verse 16 states that God says that in the last days he will pour out his spirit on all people and they will have visions and prophecy, it does not mean that all the seers that appear out there have visions of heaven, nor that all the visions of the seers who have the grace of divine messages be correct. Therefore, we must apply St. Paul's maxim, examine everything, and keep what is good. And for this, the first thing that has to exist is the available information. So as material for insight, here we bring the insights of a 19th century Serbian peasant, Mitar Tarabic, who made some amazingly accurate predictions for the 19th and 20th centuries. And that only time will judge how these prophecies will play out for the 21st century. Mitar Tarabic was an illiterate Catholic peasant from the Serbian town of Kremna, who died in 1899. He told of his visions of the future to the Orthodox priest Zachary Zacharik, who wrote down the stories in a notebook. After the priest's death, the notebook was kept in his family. When the village was captured by the Bulgarians in 1943, the notebook almost burned down in a fire, and the manuscript is currently kept by his great-grandson, Dejan Malenkovic. The visions were called Tarabic's Black Prophecies, and gained attention in the early 20th century, when one after another they began to come true with incredible accuracy and consistency. Tarabic predicted many events of the 20th century, the assassination of the Serbian King Alexander and his wife in 1903, the beginning of the war between the countries of the Balkan Union and Turkey in 1912, and the victory of Serbia and its allies. Also, the start of World War I in 1914, Nazi Germany's attack on Yugoslavia in 1941 and the Soviet Union's victory over the Germans. He prophesied the Second World War, the establishment of the communist regime of Marshal Tito in Yugoslavia, the war on the Balkans in 1991 to 1995, the invention of television, computers, cell phones and much more. Everything that Tarabek predicted about the Slavic peoples and states, including Yugoslavia and Russia, came true with incredible accuracy and consistency. About the Second World War, he said that all of Europe will be under the rule of the wicked, a mention of the Nazis. Russia will not immediately enter the war when the army of evil attacks it, and the Russians will defend themselves. And he adds, then there will be a red Tsar on the Russian throne, as Tarabek called Stalin. Tarabek predicted that the Russians, along with their allies, would destroy the evil army, which evidently happened, and that among the Serbs there would appear a blue-eyed man on a white horse and with a bright star on his forehead who gathers a powerful army and liberates occupied Belgrade. In a clear mention of the communist Joseph Tito, who ruled Yugoslavia from the end of World War II until 1991. It says that after the Great War there will be a world peace in which many new states will emerge and an international court will be formed that will be more important than all the kings, referring to the United Nations clearly. And he also anticipated the prosperity of the Serbian people after the war, which actually happened during Tito's rule. He predicted that people would fly through the sky and look down at the earth from a height twice as high as Mount Tara in Serbia, and that men will build a box, and inside there will be a kind of device with images with which man will be able to see everything that is happening in the whole world, unquestionably referring to television. 
Taravik further said that people would fly into space and to the moon, but that they would not find life there like ours. Life will be there, but they will not understand it, and they will not see that this is life. And he talks about how people will dig wells into the ground and extract gold, which will give them light, speed, and energy. That is, the production of oil, which is also called black gold. He also referred to the things that will begin to happen to men after World War II. He says that those who will read and write different books with numbers will begin to think that they know more. These people will live according to their calculations and do everything as the numbers tell them. And among them there will be both good and evil. People will understand less and less who they are and why they live, and they will think they know everything, but they will know nothing. And that those who think that they know more than God will lead the world into a global catastrophe, he said. These wicked people who have lost faith in the Lord and worship only science will poison the air and water, spread the plague over the seas, rivers and lands, and people will suddenly begin to die from various ailments. Because it says that people will begin to hate clean air, divine freshness and divine beauty and hide in staleness. He warned that the gross human intervention in nature and the violation of the laws established by God would lead to an ecological catastrophe on the planet and that those who want to save themselves will run out of the cities and start looking for mountains with three crosses and there they will be able to breathe and drink water. The mention of mountains with three crosses may refer to the holy mountains and he predicts that then famine will come. Although there will be enough food, but it will not be possible to eat it because everything will be poisoned. And it states that he who prays and refrains from eating will survive, and then the Holy Spirit will save him and bring him closer to God. And in a clear reference to the transformation of men into gods, he will say that the wise will do many stupid things, thinking that they know and can do everything without knowing anything. Their souls will not be possessed by the devil, but by something more terrible their own illusions. People will believe their knowledge to be the truth, even though there will be no truth in their minds. He also prophesies that it will be impossible to distinguish between women and men. Everyone will dress the same. Women will wear pants like men, and people will stop thinking why they live on earth, and that humanity will be affected by a strange disease for which no one will be able to find a cure, but that with the help of God, they would find it everywhere and even in themselves. And he portrayed the communication situation we currently live in, saying, The more people know, the less they will love and care for each other. The hatred between them will be so strong that they will start to care more about the different devices than about their loved ones. A person will trust their own device more than their nearest neighbor, and a clear reference to cell phones. But he says that a little man will appear among the people of the far north who will teach the people love and compassion but there will be many hypocrites around him who will make it very difficult for them. The little man will leave wise books with all the words he has spoken, and as a result, people will see that they have deceived themselves. It is unknown who this character he mentions could be. Tarabic paints an apocalyptic picture of a third world war, he says. The greatest and most evil will fight against the most powerful and furious, establishing that both contenders will be evil. He talks about strange cannonballs, that instead of exploding will cast a spell on all living things, people, entire armies, and livestock. It is difficult to understand what technology he refers to, and he says that only one country will survive without being attacked in the war, establishing that it is a country surrounded by great seas and the size of our Europe, maybe Australia. And it tells us about the end. It says that the Archangel Michael, who by the way is considered the guardian angel of the Balkans, will return and that there will be a red-haired man who will rule the world in peace for a thousand years. Well, that's the end of what we wanted to tell about the prophecies of the illiterate Serbian peasant Mitar Tarabic, who predicted many things that have already come true, some things that seem to be coming true, and others that are not yet, such as the Third World War. I would like to ask if you think Tarabic's description of our time is correct or not. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Brothers and sisters, please see the description below for our 24-7 prayer rooms and links to our Telegram, Facebook, Signal, and Rumble pages. May God bless you and keep you. Amen.